How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. G'day Olufemi gang, my name is Nick. Today we are going to look at five practical things that you can do in After Effects to speed up your workflow and make things just a little bit easier. And these are things that I wish that I had known when I started using After Effects because man, After Effects can be really daunting, but these things will make things a lot easier when you're getting started. So sit back and let's get started. This video proudly sponsored by Invito Elements. So say you're zoomed in on your composition, but it zooms right in the middle of your comp, but you wanna see what's on the left or on the right. You can select the hand tool and then drag it over, or you could hold down spacebar, which changes your cursor to the hand tool and allows you to move the focus of your composition around so you can see what you're doing. Really useful when you really need to focus on those pixels. This also works on your timeline as well when you're zoomed in. If you've ever used the pen tool and want to get straight lines, just hold down shift when clicking your points and you'll get nice straight lines. And if you click on an angle, you'll get a perfect 45 degree angled line. Nifty, huh? Also, if you hold shift with the preset shape tools, you'll get perfect circles and squares. And to be honest, guys, I pretty much use this tip because I do not use Illustrator that much, uh, not to design stuff anyway. And I find it's way more efficient to just make stuff in After Effects because a lot of the stuff I do doesn't go to print anyway. It's just full motion design. so. That's why I find this tip immensely helpful. If you want to create a bounding box so your text automatically jumps to the next line when it hits the boundary, just select the text tool and drag a box out. And if you need to expand the boundaries of the box, simply grab the handles of the paragraph text and resize it as you need. And for whatever reason you want to get rid of the bounding box, simply select the text on your timeline, right click on it on the comp window and select convert to point text. And there you go, your text is free to do whatever it likes. Look, none of us are perfect and unless you're an organizational asset master, it can not be hard to find the assets you're looking for at the drop of a hat. But fear not, the project window has a built-in search window at the very top of the panel that allows you to find the assets you're looking for. You can also use this window to find all the files that are missing in your project. But seriously guys, don't be dumb like me and organize your assets. The timeline also has a search bar at the top which allows you to not only search for elements in your timeline, but also parameters that aren't easy to get to. For example, I use shape layers a lot and getting to the size parameter is super annoying. But by typing in the word size, I can bring the property up relatively quickly. But seriously, Adobe, we need a shortcut for the shape parameters, please. If you work with compositions that have a lot of deep levels, it can get really annoying to jump backwards and forth between them. By pressing tab, you can quickly jump between comps and any other comps related to it, even the ones that you're not actively using. So for example, if your comp is four levels deep, you can press tab and quickly jump back to any level up the tree. Alternatively, you can go to the top of the comp window and jump backwards and forwards through your compositions at this bar here. I usually use a mix of these two methods depending on what I'm doing, but it is a quick way to basically jump through your comps rather than going back to the project window to actually look for the comp you're looking for. Well done guys, you've made it to the end of the video, so I'm gonna leave you with one final practical tip, and that is how Envato Elements can supercharge your workflow. I pretty much use Envato Elements in my projects every month, and it saves me so much time. At $9 for your first month, you'll get access to 58 million creative assets, including After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, stock footage, royalty-free music, logos, stock imagery, and much more. Check the description for more info. All right, guys, well, that is it. Thanks for watching. And we've got some comments from the YouTube channel that we're going to read on here right now. This one from Untapped TV. I like how you guys are showing the animation side of Premiere because something like this, I thought I would need to do an AE. Well, that's true. Um, look, it didn't used to be this way. I think Premiere has definitely gotten a lot better with their animation tools, but it's still a lot of work. But if you want to do animation, After Effects is the way to go. But you can get away with a lot more stuff in Premiere than you used to. I don't think I'm gonna pronounce this correctly, but Jensa Soys Yel Media. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, so I, 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 I apologize, Jensa, but thank you very much and uh, much love
from Australia to Turkey. And uh, Josh reads all your comments, dude. So thanks for thanks for watching. Here from Kello Entertainment Productions. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. Sierra Leone. I've never been there, but I mean, you know, thanks for watching the channel, dude. And I appreciate the love. This one's from Amish. Uh, video is nice, but the flashing lights was eye pricking. Yeah, look. I get it. The the uh, flickering the flickering film burns probably not for everybody, but thanks for the feedback. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. And if you appreciated this video in any shape or form, why not click the subscribe button and smash that like for us here on the channel. Really helps us out. And if you like this video and want some more tips, we've actually got another video on five more tips in After Effects that'll help you out. You can check the link in the description below. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, After Effects should never be used for editing. Peace.